In accounting, we have certain guiding principles, which we call conventions. It doesn't mean we all get together and talk about it, but a convention is the way of doing something, um, like good etiquette. So today we're going to talk using exercise four about some of these accounting conventions. We're going to talk about cost benefit. And cost benefit says we compare the cost of a decision with the benefits from that decision. And if the costs exceed the benefits, we don't do it. If the benefits exceed the cost, we do it. Comparability and consistency says that if you have two income statements or two balance sheets, they need to be prepared in the same way. In other words, you wouldn't use one depreciation method on, for one year and use a different one in the other year. So comparability and consistency says, I know I'm looking at apples to apples or oranges to oranges. Same, same preparation uh, steps. Full disclosure means that you're telling the, uh, as much as you can as far as the facts of the matter are. So you're fully disclosing something. You're not hiding anything. Materiality says that you will disclose anything that is of a material nature, in other words, would impact the decision making. Uh, so materiality, uh, you disclose it because it could have a bearing on your decisions. And conservatism says if you've got two choices here, you're going to take the one that is the least radical, in other words, the most boring. So here we go. Now I'm going to read to you a little bit about exercise four to uh, illustrate these principles. So number one, remember, is cost benefit. So listen to this. It says a series of reports that are time consuming and expensive to prepare are presented to the board of directors each month even though the reports are never used. Well, if the reports are never used, then there's no benefit to them, but they're very costly. So tell me, what would be your decision? Get rid of them. The second one says, a company changes its method of accounting for depreciation. And we said if we change our method for depreciation, in other words, as you'll learn, straight line to units of production or double declining balance to straight line, then you need to do that what? Consistently between all the financials that are presented. If you present two years, both years. If you present three years, three years, all using the same depreciation method. Let's talk about full disclosure. Number three, it says the company in number two does not indicate in the financial statements that the method of depreciation was changed, nor does it specify the effect on the change of the net income. So we're not telling the whole truth and nothing but the truth, are we? So we would need to disclose those facts. And so that's full disclosure. Number four, materiality says a company's new office building, which is built next to the company's existing factory, is debited to the factory account because it represents a fairly small dollar amount in relation to the factory. So since it's such a small amount, they just put it into the factory building account. Well, if it's a small amount, it's immaterial and would not impact decision making by our investors. So if it's immaterial, it's okay. If it's a material amount, sizable amount, in other words, would impact decision making, then you would have to put it in a separate account, wouldn't you? And finally, conservatism. Number five, it says the asset account for a pickup truck is still used in the business, is written down to what the truck could be sold for even though the carrying value under the conventional depreciation methods is higher. So what it's telling you there is, I've depreciated this truck. It has a carrying value of, say, $5. Um, but if I thought about selling that truck, people would only give me a dollar for it. So what will I record that truck at? Conservative says the lower amount. So that's conservatism.